Madison City Schools creates the Roadmaps to Success by preparing its students academically and giving them opportunities to apply those skills. From our core content instruction to our growing innovative career tech academies, students at Bob Jones and James Clemens High Schools learn on a daily basis how to use theoretical knowledge in the workplace. We're confident when our kids leave Bob Jones High School and James Clemens High School that our kids are ready to go to Harvard, Yale, Calhoun, or to the workforce. It doesn't matter. Our kids are certainly prepared. In addition to career tech and academics, we're focusing on their creativity and problem solving, which leads to a better prepared student for the 21st century workplace. This is the perfect opportunity for a marriage between theory and practice. Our teachers push their own boundaries so that students will feel liberated to exceed theirs. It begins in our elementary schools with our enrichment programs. We've also recently added foreign language instruction for kindergarten and first graders. Learning a new language can enhance cognitive and creative abilities in addition to preparing students for the multicultural environment they'll face as adults. We are restructuring our middle school scheduling and expanding career tech pathways for 7th and 8th graders. The Madison District recently established STEM academies at Discovery and Liberty Middle Schools. And we're fostering mentorship programs in which high school students visit the lower grades to help guide students in subjects that they will be exposed to in high school. And our high school students often raise funds and donate to younger programs. Bob Jones computer engineering student Charles Boyd designed the app used by Madison City School District. Now as a part of an independent study course under teacher Jenny Roundtree, he leads an introductory computer programming course in two Madison City elementary schools. Charles connects with the students showing how to apply those skills to design video games. Well, it's exciting to me to um, have a student like Charles who's gone through the Madison City School System and been able to pursue his academic talents and interests, now come back and share his expertise with my elementary students. Um, he's had such an impact and influence on them that many of them have expressed the desire that they would like to follow in his footsteps and one day return to my classroom to pass on their own expertise. The crux of Madison's college and career readiness is in the academies of our high schools. This has the twin benefit of giving students a taste of a potential career pursuit while earning credits that can apply to college. Our job partnerships in the community give high schoolers incredible insights on how their skills will be used in the workplace. This is done with internships and job shadowing, field trips, laboratory experiments, guest lectures, and video conferencing. Our students are interning as civil engineers in Madison, as lab workers at the Hudson Alpha Biotechnology Center, in hospitals, and on catering gigs. We really get hands-on experience, like we, um, we do many catering events, um, some for just the school, like sometimes for the teachers, we do a Christmas tea. Um, recently we got to do a catering event for Early Works. Um, we catered for about 250 people, alongside with Drake College. Um, we provided the hors d'oeuvres, and Drake College provided um, the main course and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it just gives you a really hands-on um, experience that everyone truly needs. At UAH, Bob Jones Biomedical students work with the college's community health program to learn how the biomedical team assess and treat injuries in a mock disaster drill. Sure, there's a gory element to this, but the live demo has a definite impact that classroom lectures simply can't match. We're right now at UAH's Disaster Drill, something no one has ever gotten to do and probably one of the coolest things I'll ever get to do as a high school student. Um, a lot of times being in a great AP science class like AP Biology or AP Chemistry teaches you a lot of stuff about science, but you never get to apply it to the real world. Today, we're getting to see what an actual disaster situation is like, and between this and all of the hospital visits we've done and all of the labs we've done on actual human biology and medicine, we're getting to see a side of this that we'll never see anywhere else until we get to possibly nursing school, or in my case, med school. At Charger Hospital on campus, students learn the gamut of patient care. Checking vitals, stitching wounds, scrubbing for surgery, transferring patients, and administering emergency pulmonary procedures. They even learn how to put up a sass from a $100,000 robotic patient. Ow! You're hurting Our me. engineering academies build Lego robots that can shoot baskets and do other creative things. 
They create art from tin cans, design bridges, and construct chairs out of cardboard. In James Clemens Engineering Academy, students create highly complex constructions as needed for other school programs, like the cyclorama wall being built for the filmmaking department, Jet Express. We build things and we break things. And we use our collaborative minds to find creative ways to get better. We don't copy other people's work. We build things that don't exist yet. We try our hardest to solve real problems, ones that haven't met a solution yet. We stay motivated by staying relevant. And we share our students' ideas with the world because our students have great ideas. We do more than work together. We collaborate in the deepest sense of the word. It means to work with someone else to create something bigger than the both of you. I'm actually designing something that's going to be used and I'm just in high school, so. We teach our students to problem solve rather than just memorize answers to the problem. They must think and collaborate and seek more of the whys in life rather than just the what. In Madison, we learn every day. And a lot of days, we learn that yesterday's learning is wrong. We are not afraid of being wrong. People of accomplishment never sit back and let things happen to them. They go out and make things happen. And they often begin before they're ready. This is how we try to live and learn in Madison. In the manufacturing society of 50 years ago, the industrial model of education was sufficient. If today's students want to compete in this global society, they must be proficient in a new realm of focus, including communication, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. We are Madison City Schools, and we are building leaders for a world that does not exist yet. It's just really exciting. Next thing to put on your resume? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>